Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Sun Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping in Sense. So I am going to be updating my much viewed video. Uh, this is what to expect when you're expecting to take the six hour defensive driving course in the state of New York. Now, if you hear pug noises behind me, that is my dog. I cannot help that. So I did this video three years ago. The course has changed. I've taken it with the same company. It has changed. And so now I want to update you guys for 2021. It's a new year. It's a good time to get a discount on your insurance and to get, you know, saved from some points on your license. So we're going to talk about all of it. And hopefully I do a better, a better job this time. Okay. So this is hashtag not sponsored. You can take, I took the course with the New York Safety Council presented by the American Safety Council, which is a New York State DMV approved course. You can take whatever course you like as long as it's DMV approved. Now, the point of taking this course is to become a better driver, a defensive driver. Not only that, but completion of the course will get you a 10% discount on your car insurance every year for three years. Now, I took the course three years ago. I got notification that it was about to expire and it was time to take it again because, you know, rules change, uh, things change. And so you need to get yourself updated and refreshed every three years. So you get 10%, 10 off your insurance every year for three years. You also get up to four points off your license. Now, this is something that I want to explain to people, especially those of you who are taking the course to remove points from your license. Okay, so let's say you have six points on your license for um, moving violations. Now, these are not parking violations, moving violations like speeding, going through a stop sign and such, those are moving violations. And depending on what kind you get, you can accumulate points on your license. In the state of New York, if you accumulate 11 points on your license, more than 11 points, your license can be revoked. Now, this uh, safety uh, course, this defensive driving course, can remove up to four points off your license. That's not to say that if you currently have six points on your license and you take the course, now you'll only have two points on your license. It doesn't work that way. The way it works is that if you ever, and I hope that you don't, get to the point where you have 11 points on your license and a judge is considering taking your license away from you, you can use this documentation of taking the safe driver course, the defensive driver course, as a way to remove points from your license and save you from having your license revoked at that particular time. It does not remove points from your license before that. Also, if you accumulate six points on your license in New York, you will have to pay a fee. Now, I had to write this down because I could not remember what it was called. It's called the Driver Responsibility Assessment Fee. That's something like $200 or something. I don't quite remember, two, $300. Uh, the driver responsibility assessment, you can pay a little bit each year or you can pay it all at once, but you will still have to pay it if you get six points on your license. Please excuse this horrible um, cord. <laughs> okay, so now moving on. Why should you take the course? So like I said, it's great that you're getting a discount on your car insurance. And it's great that if you should ever need it, and I hope you don't, it takes points off your license. But most importantly, it's good to refresh your driving skills. I mean, how long has it been since you took a driving class or since you got your license? It's good for all of us to be safer, better drivers. And I'm a big supporter of taking this defensive driving course with whatever company you take it with. Now, I will say that 
it does give you a lot of information. There are there are positives and negatives. Yes, the course is six hours, and yes, it is very long, and there are there is a lot of information. The good thing is that you don't have to do all six hours at one time, and you don't have to take it in a classroom. You can do it all online. The first time I ever took a defensive driving course, I took it in a classroom. That's how long ago it was, in a classroom with an instructor. Now you have the option of taking the course online. You can sign in and sign out at your leisure. You start the course and you have 30 days to complete it. You can do it as much or as little as you feel that you're capable of doing. The first time I did the course, I did six hours straight through. Now, looking back at it, I don't know how I did that because it was a lot of information and it's complete overload. So I kind of don't recommend doing that. This time I did it about half and half. I completed the course in two days. So that I found a little bit better, but you do whatever works for you. You can do an hour each day. You can do, you know, uh, two hours each day, whatever you feel like doing, but you have 30 days to complete the course. Now, uh, what is the course like? Okay. So the course this one, I'm just going to talk about the course that I took. I imagine that all of the defensive driving courses are similar. This particular course that I took was broken down into uh, four, four sections. There were four sections, and I'll tell you about each section. After each section, you have to take a quiz. I did exactly the same as I did on the last time I took the course. I got 100%, there are four quizzes, I got 100% on three out of the four, and I got 80% on one because I missed a question, and it was a drug question. I always miss the drug question because I don't do drugs, so I always manage to mess up on the drug question, but um, so you have to, so there's no test. There's no, you go through the whole course and you take a test. That's like what happened when I first did defensive driving, when I was in a classroom. You did a six hour course with an instructor and then you took a physical exam. This, it's a four part cor course and you take a quiz after each, ex after each uh, module, they call it, after each section, you take a quiz. And I imagine that you have to pass the quizzes in order to get credit for the course. Um, so it's important that you pay attention. So if you are reading, and then there's another feature on this, if you're reading or you're using a new feature, which I loved on this course, if you pay, okay, so the course is $25. It, could, it ranges. This particular course was $25. If you paid an extra $5, you can have the text read to you. There's an audio feature, which I absolutely loved. And I recommend spending the extra $5 if it's an option on your course. The course is read to you. So you're not sitting there for hours at a time reading words on the screen where you're zoning out. You know, you have it read to you and you read along, you know, on the page with the person. Or you can, you know, if, if you're starting to get a little tired, your eyes getting tired, you can, you know, just kind of listen. But it's important that you don't zone out. And you do pay attention because you want to pass the quizzes and you want to be a better driver. So do not zone out. Whether you take the course by reading it yourself or do what I did and highly re recommend and have it read to you and you read along, do not zone out. Okay, so here's the four sections of the course. Uh, there's so many things I want to tell you. Okay, four sections. The first section is... Uh, traffic crash problems, DWI and other hazardous acts, aggressive driving and road rage. That's a kind of short section. The two sections in the middle are very long. Uh, section two is psychological factors, driving distractions, DWI prevention, blood alcohol concentration, legal and financial consequences, avoiding impaired driving. That's a big section. That's common to both times of me taking this course. There is a huge, huge portion of it that is on drunk driving, driving under the influence of alcohol, and driving under the influence of drugs. 
So if you're like me and you drink, you don't drink alcohol, you drink neither, you don't, I wanted to say you drink neither, do neither, you neither partake, you neither partake in alcohol or drugs, this may seem like, why am I listening to this? But it's important, I'll get to that. The third section is crash dynamics, safety equipment, safety equipment continued, watching the road, following and stopping distances, vehicle emergencies and sharing the road, intersections and roadways. It's a lot. And then the fourth one is pretty short and that's New York. Well, it, it'll be for, uh, if you're watching this, I'm assuming you live in New York. So no, ch chapter four, module four, New York traffic laws, traffic signals and signs, streets and intersections, school buses and emergency vehicles. So what happens with these sections is they estimate how long, you can't just click through each page and just do the course in 20 minutes. What happens is you start off on the first page and it has a clock at the top of the page and they estimate how long it should take you to read this page. They estimate it'll take you 10 minutes to read this page. So you read it, right? Let's say you read it in eight minutes. It will not let you click to the next page unless the clock runs out. But you don't have to worry. If it takes you longer to read the page or you want to reread it because you want to absorb it, it, it doesn't, the page doesn't disappear. So there's not a, a time, um, let me see, a time limit. There is, there's not a time limit. You can take as long as you like to read the page. Um, but you cannot click to the next page before your, the, they, that time that they estimate it took you to read it. So even if you're having it read to you, this is something interesting. If you press the button to have it read to you, the person reading it to you sometimes reads it faster than the clock at the top. So you may have to wait a minute or so before it'll click to the next page because you have to wait for the time to run out. So a big, big, big section in this course is drugs and alcohol. And what they try to hammer home on this is that you should never, ever, ever drink any amount of alcohol or do any kind of drug before you get behind the wheel. And they really, really wanna hammer that home. Now, you may think to yourself, as I did, I don't drink, I don't do drugs. Why do I need to have this drilled into my head? It's, it, it's useful to me, to, to those of us who don't drink and don't do drugs, because it tells you, it basically tells you how to watch out for those drivers on the road how to identify a driver who might be intoxicated, how to identify somebody who is not capable to drive. You might be out at a party with friends and you haven't, you haven't been with your, you know, you separate and whatever, and your friend goes off. You don't know how much that person has drank or what it may be. They take prescription drugs. It teaches you how to identify whether a person is capable of driving, whether they should be driving and how to spot dangerous drivers on the road. So that's an important thing. One part of this that they minimized from the last time I took it to this time, which I was happy about in a way, is there's not that much of a section on children. I don't have children. So, I mean, for those of you who do, you know, whatever. But um, there was a huge section on child seats and where to put the child in the car and how to secure the child and what age they should be. It didn't seem as pervasive. It didn't seem as lengthy in this particular course as it did three years ago. They still do, do talk to you a lot about safety devices, safety belts, airbags, um, making sure that your car is in tip top shape so that um, your most likely to survive a crash. The The bad thing about this course is they load you up with a lot of statistics about dangerous driving and especially head-on collisions and fatalities. It's enough to scare you to never want to drive again. But the point is 
uh, you're supposed to learn from this and you're supposed to be a better driver, a safer driver. And it teaches you not only to recognize in yourself when you shouldn't be driving, like if you like it talks about aggressive driving and road rage. So if you have just gotten into a fight with your best friend or you just got fired from your job or you feel really angry or really sad or there's some you feel really distracted, you should not be getting behind the wheel of a car. How many of us do that? We get behind the wheel and it talks about this. We get behind the wheel of a car and we've driven a mile, two miles, and we can't remember driving that last mile because we're distracted and we're thinking about other things and that's dangerous and we need to remind ourselves of that. I sound like I'm preaching here. Okay, so uh, just to go over the points part again, I just want to uh, do a couple of things. Okay. In New York, if you get 11 points, if you accumulate 11 points on your license in 18 months, you can you can have your driver's license revoked. This course helps take up to four points off your license. Um, the once Once you take the course and you finish it, you'll get a certificate in 10 to 14 business days. I have mine still framed. I'm gonna block out my name and my information, but I'm very proud. You'll get a certificate and you can hang it on your wall. You get a certificate in 10 to 14 business days. Um, I wanna go back to one other thing, okay. All right, so here, you've completed the course. And then I wanna go back to the drunk driving thing again. You've completed the course, now what? Okay, you will receive an official certificate in the mail in 10 to 14 business days. New York State requires official certificates to be mailed and printed on security paper. So I guess that's what that is. Getting points off your driving record. You may present your official certificate in court after it arrives by mail. You will also, we will also, meaning the course, will also notify the DMV of your graduation. Getting your insurance premium reduced. When you receive your certificate, present it to your insurance provider. Call your insurer to find out how they prefer to handle this step and to learn your new rate. And then it's so, it's, it's, there's such a sense of accomplishment because it says, you graduated, you graduated, congratulations, you've passed. And that is a great thing. And you guys, when you do this, you will be proud. You will be proud. Yes, you will save money on your insurance. Yes, you may get points taken off your license. That may come in handy, but you'll be a better driver. You'll feel accomplished. It'll be a great feeling. So these are the other things that I didn't tell you, that I left out, because there's so much to tell you. How does the course know that it's you that's taking the course? Like, how do they know? You sign in, you know, you create a username, you create a password, right? Then um, you're taking the course. You can sign in and sign out, like I said, and you have up to one month to complete the course. So how do they know when you're signing in and signing out that it's still you and that you didn't get your brother or your cousin or someone else to finish the course for you? Last time I took it, they analyzed your keystroke. They ask you to type a phrase over and over again until this little green, until this bar filled up with little green coloring and they analyzed your keystroke. And then every couple of pages that you read in this course, you would have to type in and they analyze your keystroke and you can move on. Now they've changed it. Now they do voice biometric authentication. So at the beginning of the course, they ask you to read a series of numbers. The numbers are double digits, but they ask you to read them one at a time. So it'll be like 66, 55, 99 or whatever. So you'll have to say 6655. Five, five. Now you have to read them, even though they're double digits, you still have, you have to read them one at a time. And then after you read these, this series of numbers and you, they've analyzed your voice biometrics, they have it in the system. Every couple of pages, you'll see at the bottom, coming up on the next page,
be prepared. You're going to do a voice biometric. You have to call a phone number, a toll free number, and they'll say, hey, thank you for calling, you know, safety council. Uh, please enter your ID number. Now, it's a different number. It's a different ID number every couple of pages. It's not the same ID number for the whole course. And then it'll say, it, and there's lines of double digit numbers. And it'll, it'll tell you, read line three. And then you'll see on your screen, line three will light up in yellow. And then you read it. And then it'll say, okay, now press one that you've completed. Then you press, yes, I've authenticated. You've authenticated on the phone. It basically hangs up on you and you continue on with the course. So they identify you through voice biometric authentication. Um, the other thing I want to tell you is the course, I feel like last time the course was the chapters were a lot shorter. Maybe that's because I don't think they had the audio option of, of them reading it to you last time. So last time it was more like a PowerPoint presentation and each screen that you had to read um, was maybe five minutes, 10 minutes. And then you could click on to the next screen and each screen wasn't all text. Um, you could, you know, they had photos, you know, especially if they were talking about street signs and, and different things like that. This, the sections, some of them are 40 minutes long and there it's a lot of text with no photos. And instead of showing you pictures of the, the traffic signs, they just describe them to you an octagon red sign with stop on it or whatever. It's all written out for you in text. That could be, like I said, because I chose the, the audio version, which, like I said, you can read along. There is a video that they make you watch in the course. It's the same video that they made me watch last time. It's a drunk driving. It's an anti-drunk driving video. It's very sad. It looks like it was filmed in the 80s. And I just took a little screen capture here so I could read you what it was called. So it's called Another Saturday Night. It's 15 minutes long. It says, in the following dramatization, Lake, Lake, that's the, they named the guy. Okay, so that's how you know it's 80s. Lake and Anna have exciting plans for their future. Tragically, poor judgment and excessive drinking put an end to those plans those hopes remember as you watch this film that anyone who consumes alcohol or drugs and subsequently chooses to operate a motor vehicle is rolling the dice as to a similar outcome so basically he and his best he and his girlfriend and his best friend go to a party um lake's best friend has been drinking lake has been drinking as well the best friend uh is stumbling all around Lake says to him, Yo, you're too drunk to drive. I'll drive, even though he himself has been drinking. His girlfriend says, are you sure you're okay to drink? So just because he's like less drunk than his friend, he thinks he's fine. He drives, he gets into an accident. His friend ends up getting killed in the accident and his girlfriend gets injured. And then they bring him up on charges. I think of vehicular manslaughter, vehicular homicide or whatever. And you don't know what happens to him at the end. Like, you don't know if he gets, like, jail time or what happens. Because they leave it for you to guess. The judge says to him, what am I supposed to do with you, you know? And you never find out. You never find out what happens to him. But it is, you know, they so that... I mean, if I had not watched it before, that's a nice break in the middle of all that reading. So I think that's it. I think I've talked to you about everything that I should or needed to talk to you about. I hope this video is as popular popular as my last video. And I hope it inspires you to take the defensive driving course and inspires you to be a better driver and answers a lot of your questions. So if it does, remember to comment, rate, subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense. I do a, quite different videos than this one. Um, so until next time, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.